Hello everyone, and welcome back to Opening Night Trivia, the thing that I do before bed, uh, contractually. Uh, we are in the second round of the Opening Night Trivia on Total Geek Teams Tournament. That's still very wordy, I don't like it. And uh, we've got a strong matchup for you. Uh, two underdog teams. Uh, legally, they were underdog teams in the first round. Now they're just teams in the second round. Uh, number 11 dummies, who took out them Bulbasaur boys. And the number 14 ranked NWO, who you may remember, took out Duel of the Fates in a stunning upset uh, in the first round. Now they're in the second round. I mean, it'll probably still be an upset if NWO takes it. But, I mean, now, they, they're, now they're just like a good team with like a record and stuff. Hmm. I don't have a co-host because uh, nobody else could be bothered. David's asleep. Joe is also asleep. Scully, I suspect, is watching a football uh, game. I'm just going to bury everybody. Uh, the other teams. Let's see what they've got to say about it. Hey, Ryan. What's up, Colton? Uh, hey, we're back at it again. Uh, you know, um, last time we uh, we had an entire thing. Uh, yeah, arguably beat the best team in the league. So that was good. Uh, as long as I score more than uh, uh, three points in round one, uh, that's what we're going for. That's the standard now, at least three points. <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna have fun. Yeah, we keep raising the standards here. I mean, when we when we join, we're just gonna be like a fun uh, geek team. We get wins, okay, losses, fine. But yeah, Brittany and Tyler were no joke. And I will admit, I will say this until my I'm I'm blue in the face, man. You were definitely key in that victory. So and, and trust me, I'm not gonna put pressure on you, man. But I'm just letting you know. Don't try to you know don't downplay yourself. You are knowledgeable and you got skills. And knowing against Robert and Jake, these guys are bad. Not like bad players, but they are bad, you know, like bad motherfuckers that we don't want to come across. <laughs> Very true. Yep. So All let's right. just hope the questions are, are on our side again. And may the wheel, well, no wheel, but may the questions be in our favor. I'm getting all Hunger Games here. <laughs> let's just do this. You know, Jake, there's another team. Mm -hmm where uh, the person who is considered the B player is uh, contractually obligated to get three points, uh, and they lost in the first round. Uh, that was Scott Harvey and, and Spence. Uh, these guys actually ended up pulling probably the biggest upset ever, and now we're playing them. So doesn't actually hold weight necessarily the same way, but you know, I, we are confident in ourselves. Uh, we would like to think that 11 was horribly underseated for us. And uh, we're just sort of here reclaiming a spot. We're getting a spot that's rightfully ours. Yeah, uh, I will be the first to admit that we fully expected to see Duel of the Fates in this match and have the sort of Titan Clash of the Titans, if you will. Uh, but obviously that's not happening. And because of that, we can't take these two lightly, even whatever their seeding is, however many... Somebody scored in round one, their last match. We're not taking this lightly at all, because if you can beat Duel of the Fates, you can beat anybody. So uh, we uh, we have a good idea what we're up against, and we're ready to prove we are the most under team there's ever been. Let's go. Let's rock this joint. Good news, everybody. I found my glasses. And yes, we're leaving that burp in. I said it on commentary, so it has to happen. All right, we're going to get things started here. Let me bring everybody back in. It's dumb ease versus. Man, we haven't, we did, did we talk about that? It's like a supernova civil war. That's, that'll, that'll be a fun yeah. thing. Oh, nope. Now these two need to be over here. This is so much easier when David's doing it. All right, so we're going to start here with round number one. In round number one, uh, there will be 10 questions from 10 different categories. You'll have about 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer. I'm just going to go down the list here. I'm going to call on you by name, show it, reveal it. Points or no points. Three repeats. Sure. Challenge. Challenge. Yeah. All right. Any questions? No. All good yeah. to go. Yeet. All right. Your first question will come from the category of Star Trek. Uh, Neil McDonough has a role in which Star Trek movie? here um these are, are are my real glasses however they are 
legally fake. They don't actually help me see any better. Um, but they are legally, they are also legally mine. Um, these, some of these aren't jokes, they're just information. We're going to go in five. I think everything Four. should just be information. Three, yeah. Two, no jokes. one. Fair enough, we're not doing jokes today. Pens are down. Uh, we will start with Robert. Part of my fraternity, Neil McDonough. Star Trek First Contact. All right. And we will go to Ryan. Star Trek First Contact. Love it. Going to Jake. Lieutenant Hawk in Star Trek First Contact. Also true. And Colton. I said Star Trek Nemesis. Uh, Star Trek First Star Contact, Trek Contact is correct. As we get into your second question. Um, in Mixed Bag. In which mixed bag movie do the main characters travel to Brazil in the cargo bay of a plane? Dummies take a two-one lead. That's what I should do. I should I should call all of these like we're doing like a like a golf, like like a round of golf. That is dummies with a two-point lead or with a two-one lead. Um, <laughs> slight approach onto the boards. God damn it. Not a lot of confidence around the around the table. We'll see what happens here. Not and at all. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens are down. We will start with Ryan. Fuck, this was a long ass title. I had to shorten it. I said TMNT out of the shadows. And we will go to Jake. It would help if I knew what movies were in mixed bag. I just guessed the old guard. And over to Colton. I had a big old no idea. <laughs> And over to Ryan, or Robert, excuse me. <laughs> I said bloodshot. One of you is correct, and it is Ryan. TMNT Out of the Shadows uh, is correct. Uh, we're going to be moving right along here to the Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. In Captain America, the first Avenger, what type of vehicle does Steve use to break in Red Skull's base at the end of the movie? Um, as much as I love him, my partner and or writer doesn't have a strong use of commas, so <laughs> I didn't know exactly when to pause that. <laughs> I th I think you just <laughs> I just kept it going. <laughs> oh, it's so awkward. I also just woke up um, to do this because we all forgot about it, kind of. Sorry, sorry, we have uh, to pick you up. Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We go to Jake. Motorcycle. And we go to Golden. Oh, uh, I said a Rolls Royce. Because I don't know. Uh, we go to Robert. Motorcycle. And we go to Ryan. I also went with a motorcycle. Motorcycle is correct. So Dummies keeps a one point lead. So we move on to Middle Earth. In The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, who lends Bilbo a piece of fabric to be used as a handkerchief? Just checked my trivia messages. Complaining, 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 complaining. Um, although somebody might be sick as well. I think that they're complaining about it, so I guess it's just more complaining. You are absolutely right that Scully is watching the game. <laughs> I guess I, I, I'm gonna bet a hundred million dollars that that's what it is. I'm sure. I'm, I'm almost sure of it. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, Colton. Uh, Balling. Oh, you. And Robert. I said Bofer. And Ryan. I also had Bofer. And Jake. I forgot. I just said Gandalf. Bofer is the correct answer. So okay. Ryan and Robert picking up points there. Uh, we go now to Marvel. 
In what Marvel movie does the main character arrive late to a performance where his love interest is taking part? Actually, that wasn't part of the joke, but the reason I picked up the phone just now is um, I got a buzz. I thought it was a love interest thing, and it, it, it turns out it isn't. Uh, <laughs> it was complaining uh, um, uh, by people who hard. will remain uh, anonymous, but could be just de described as Kingsman. Five, <laughs> four, <laughs> three, two, one. Hands are down. We'll start back up with Robert. Spider-Man 2. And Ryan? I said The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, Jake? Just Spider-Man 2. And Colton? I said Spider-Man 3. Just Spider-Man 2 is yeah. the correct answer. I'm not just an empty seat anymore. Yeah. The importance of being earnest, I believe. <laughs> yes. I do believe. You know, it was your next question will come from the category of DC. Jared Faber composed the score for which DC movie? As, as uh, honestly, as like a player and sometimes announcer, I don't usually get to savor the little confusions of like, I don't know that name. <laughs> That's not good. I needed, I needed like five seconds to be like, because <laughs> I, I have just looked at this. That's right. the part that's most annoying. <laughs> We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We'll start with Ryan. Um, going to go with the kitchen. Uh, we'll go to Jake. Look at Robert being a tryhard looking things up. I just said Return of Swamp Thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Colton. Uh, I like your thinking. Uh, I just said Swamp Thing. <laughs> and Robert. The Teen Titans go to the movies. Teen Titans Go ah. to the Movies is correct. God, I hate that movie. <laughs> Same. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to go on now to Star Wars. The character of Snap Wexley makes an appearance in how many Star Wars movies? Right, dummies are starting to pull ahead by a significant amount. Nine, f no, wait, eight, four, as I have it. More to come in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We'll start with Jake. Three. We'll go to Colton. Two. We'll go to Robert. Change it from three to two. And over to Ryan. I had two. Two is correct. Yeah, I got is he one not right. In Last Jedi, right? He's not in the Last Jedi. No. no. Oh, we got. We got. Don't worry, Cole. You're gonna beat your high score by the end of this round. <laughs> the dream is still alive as we get into your next question, which will come from the Wizarding World. In Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, who is the last person to arrive at Jacob and Queenie's wedding? Answers are repeat in five, four, three, two, one. 
pens are down, we will start with Colton. I said Tina. We'll go to Robert. I also said Tina. We'll go to Ryan. I changed it to Dumbledore. <laughs> and we will go to Jake. I changed from Newt to Tina. I'll see if that was right. Tina is the correct answer. I was trying to figure out, like, arrive because they weren't there before or actually went into the building. Yep. Dumbledore yeah. did not go that. inside. Okay. Um, oh. Tina. Yep. Well, good job. All right. Good job. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, we have arrived now at your second to last question. Colton still on track to potentially beat his high score as we get into sci-fi killers. In Alien Covenant... Who plays Tennessee? Finally, a question that is relevant to me. Um, yeah. Because you leave, you uh, run a covenant. Yeah. Well, that's also that's also technically true. It's actually yeah. It's, it's, there's layers to this one. I was I was hoping because you've been to space. Not yet. Three, but give it time. Three, two morphs, you know. Yeah. I Could keep jumping, happen. but not yet. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. We will start with Robert. Danny McBride. And Ryan. Uh, Danny McBride. Over to Jake. The legend Kenny Powers himself, Danny McBride. And Colton. Yeah, I didn't have that. All right. Danny McBride is the correct answer. All right. And your final question in this round number one will come from the DCEU. The character of Amanda Waller has appeared in how many DCEU movies? Answers are repeat in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are down. Uh, we will start with Jake. Is it just the two? Uh, we will go to Colton. I also said just the two. We will go to Robert. Actually, he's in post credit. I said three. And we will go to Ryan. I said two as well. It is just two. So let me do some quick tallying here. All right. The score says I have them at the end of round number one. Dumb E's leads 14 to 10. Um, yeah, that's how the math works. Uh, 14 to 10. I have a first score of 10. So yeah, you're, 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 you're right on us. Great. Uh, as we head into round number two, in round number two, uh, we have three categories. Each team will choose one. The third category, should we need it, will be saved for round number three. Each team will answer five questions. They can collaborate for each worth two points. Uh, if they are not confident in the answer, they can go down to multiple choice. That will reduce the form value of the question. No team has used a repeat just yet. Uh, or, and both teams still have their challenge. So good stuff. Dummies, you are in the lead. That affords you the option of whether you want to go first or second, as well as uh, choosing your category first or second. Today's categories are Marvel, Quotes, and Star Trek. What would you like to do? Uh, do you want to pick first and go second? Yeah, probably. Pick first. Okay. Go Let's second. do that. And, right. and do you want to do what we discussed right before the, mat before the match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Okay. We will take Star Trek. Star Trek is off the board. All right. We will be picking second. Going first, NWO. Uh, Marvel and quotes are left. What would you like? Uh, I know Colton before, and then we there was a wide number of options. Um, I, and um, 
I mean, what which one of these you feel that you would actually be able to collaborate best on for round three? Um, I mean, if not, we can easily just go with Marvel if that just suits you. Yeah, let's let's go with Marvel because round three is quotes is such a hook pickup for both teams potentially. Okay. Let's go with Marvel. All right, let's do it. Then we'll take Marvel. All right, love it, Marvel. Uh. All right, NWO, we're going to start with you with your five questions in the category of Marvel. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Your first question. Which actor played three different characters in The King's Man? Oh, um, I believe that is Tom Hollander, Colton. He plays uh, the, the he plays Prince George, plays Czar Nicholas, and he plays the Kaiser. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Tom Hollander, final final answer. Yeah. That is correct for two points. Your second question. In Spider-Man 3, what specifically makes Peter want to get rid of the black suit? Uh, I think it, I mean, because when he gets, before he gets rid of it, he strikes, he hits Mary Jane. Yeah, I think it's because he backhands Mary Jane. Yeah, hits her. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah, uh, uh, hit- Mary Jane. Yeah, final. that is correct for two points. Uh, third question: In what Marvel movie does a group of main characters go to see the Return of the Jedi? Uh, X Men Apocalypse. That's- yes, I was going to say that too. <laughs> uh, X Men Apocalypse. Uh, final answer. That is correct for two points. Uh, Fourth question. What Marvel hero's mother's name is Vanessa Brooks? That is Blade. Uh, That's Blade Colton. Yep. Blade, final answer. That is correct for two points. And for a clean sweep, who composed the score for Venom? Part of me is thinking Danny Elfman, but I don't think so. Uh, or Tyler Bates, maybe. Uh, I I believe it's now that you've said it. I believe it's Tyler Bates. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Answer. I mean, it, we're gonna have four, a rough going round three. Four, Let's just risk it. All right. Three, Tyler Bates, final answer. That is incorrect. So for a two point steal, we go to dummies. It's Ludwig Gorenson, Robert. Yep. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Ludwig Gorenson, final answer. And that is correct for a two-point wow. steal. Good job, buddy. Okay. Mm. okay. All right. That ends NWO's round. We now go to... Uh, that brings their score up to 18. Uh, but Dummy's getting a two-point steal. That brings their score up to 16 mm-hmm. as we get into their round of questions in Star Trek. Uh, if you're ready, let's do it. Do it. All right. In Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home, who accompanies Chekhov to get the nuclear isotopes? Uhura. It's Uhura. Yeah. yeah. You go. On. Uhura. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question: In what Star Trek movie does a crew member get promoted to lieutenant commander? Generations, right? Uh, yes, that is generations. Because yeah, it's warp. Pirate ship. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Go for it. Star Trek. Star Trek Generations. Final answer. Correct for another two points. In Star Trek Beyond, how specifically does Keenzer open the door of his cell where the crew is being held by Crawl? Sneezes. He on sneezes it. on it with his acid snot. Yeah, you you can go ahead. Yeah, he sneezes on it with his acid snot. Final answer. That is correct. Um, I don't know if we needed the acid snot, but you didn't. It was fine. (laughs) Um, uh, It was fine though. Uh, Your next question: In Star Trek Insurrection, Artem the kid, uh, Artem the kid 
befriends Data and makes him promise he will do what every day? You play. Play. Right. play, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's got to be play. it, right? It can't be. I think so. I'm, I feel pretty confident about okay. it. Play. Play. Final, final answer. That is correct for two points. Good job, buddy. All right. And your final question. Who plays Kirk and... Uh, excuse me. Who plays Kirk and Bones' Klingon lawyer in Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country? Michael Dorn. It's Michael Dorn. Yeah. yeah. Michael Good. Dorn, final answer. That is correct for two points. Mm -hmm. uh, clean sweep of Star Trek, bringing dummies total to 24 to NWO's 18, going into round wow. number three. Should be 26. Uh, excuse me, 26 is the, the two points deal. Excuse me. Yeah, two points deal. Apologize. Uh, heading into round number three. Uh, in round number three, we have a two, a potential two, three, and a five to determine which team will advance to round number three of this here tournament. One player will take the two, their other, their partner will take the three, and they can collaborate for just the five point question. Uh, everyone still has all the repeats, I do believe, as yeah, well as their challenge. And we are headed to the wonderful wild world of quotes. Um, <laughs> dummies. Would you like set one or set two? Fuck the most, always the most important question. <laughs> I know that's the okay. Worst. So I will say the what last time me in the past. Last time we did one, and it screwed us. I think we go one again. Odds should odds should flip. Back. You wanna? You think the odds will switch back in our favor? That's what I think. Yeah, I'm terrible at this, so that's as good a logic as any. Okay, we will go with set one, Mister Host. Okay. Set one, NWO will take set two. Um, all right, uh, NWO, who will be taking question one? Uh, that would be me. Yeah. All right. So for two points, which DCEU actress said the line, they're everything you say they are, but they're capable of so much more. It's not about deserve. It's about what you believe, and I believe in love. Uh, Gal Gadot. That is correct for two points. All right. Now the three-point question. Ryan, for three points. In what Star Wars movie will you hear the quote, Sometimes there are things no one can fix. You're not all powerful, Annie. That is Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. That is correct for three points. All right, your situation if you hit your five point question. Mm -hmm. You will send it back to dummies. You will avoid the TKO, uh, and they'll have to answer some questions. Uh, if you miss, you will lose by TKO. You can't collaborate on this one, and you have all three of your repeats. Where the fun begins. <laughs> all right. So for five points, finish this quote from Otto Octavius in Spider-Man 2. Love should never be a secret. If you keep something as complicated as love stored up inside, it could blank. And we need the next three words. Keep something as bottled up as love inside. The only three words that's popping in my head, Cole, no, it, it will blank, uh, tear you apart. But um, not sure how it fits. Trying to see how that fits in the quote. Um, anything popping in your head? Answer no. Eight, eight, uh, five, four. We'll take a repeat. Two. All right. Uh, once again, four or five points. Finish this quote from Otto Octavius in Spider Man 2. Love should never be a secret. If you keep something as complicated as love stored up inside, it could blank. And we need the next three words. Could. 
Right. Yeah, I'm thinking Terry will hard in just five. Destroy your soul. Three. Uh, two. Second that repeat. All right. Second repeat. Finish this quote from Otto Octavius in Spider Man 2. Love should never be a secret. If you keep something as complicated as love stored up inside, it could blank. We need the next three words. Tear you apart is the only thing that's popping in my head. Uh, yeah, let's. I, I'm not getting anything. So yeah, I, either way, even we used in a repeat, I'm not sure if it'll immediately click to my head. So let's just risk yeah, if we miss, then five, heck, we got this far. Four, All right. Uh, three, tear you apart. One. And your winners by way of technical knockout, mm -hmm. dumb ease. The correct answer was make you sick. Make you, make sick. you sick was the correct answer. Um, so uh, well done. That does eliminate NWO and dummies will advance. Let's get dummies out for just one second to talk to uh, today's unwinners, uh, NWO. You made it to the second round. You eliminated uh, one of the biggest threats. Thanks for that, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people really appreciate it. Um, but unable to overcome uh, dumb ease here in the second round. Uh, but still have a job done. Still put, put points on the board. Still a round two sweep, almost. Uh, tell us how you're feeling. Honestly, that, that steal in round two, uh, that kind of that kind of did it. Um I'll be I, honest. You, you, the two did the the the, the two pointer did throw us off a bit, but even if we still kept that, it still would have fell on us on our five pointer. Uh, it's never a good feeling to lose by a knockout, but at least with knockouts, you are able to at least you know pick you you're you're just able to know exactly how bad it was you played because uh, I know even replaying round one in my head, there were three immediate there were. Those questions I missed on, I should have thought harder on those. But you know, it's it's a no, it's a it's all it's a time it's a time game. You know, can't 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 take thirty seconds to answer a question every single time. But you know, we 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 tried to hope the questions were in our favor. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, this does bring an end to your uh, year as a team, mm -hmm. potentially barring a sort of trio situation going on. Uh, that kind of puts your eyes at least potentially to the future is this a team that we're gonna that's gonna stay together that's looking at another run next year potentially yeah uh if ryan will have me uh i will absolutely play with him again yeah i mean i'm never trying to hold out and recruit on who we come up with next it's like i've always every time i have a team partner i'm always thinking of holding out for the long run and then things change and then things change up and i'm and I get a new partner. I mean, in regular teams, I've had four different partners. And so I'm not going to uh, – I mean, look, if Colton wants to keep playing by next year when it starts, then, yes, I would like to continue with him. Unless, you know, something else happens where someone else wants to team with me or someone wants to team with Colton just for the hell of it, then, you know, like I said, um, for right now at this moment, I'd say, yeah, the, N the NWO will stay strong. We're not going to – break apart into a – we're not going to break apart. Colton's going to form NWO Wolfpack. I'm going to be NWO Hollywood. I mean, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, we, we, we may not be for a lot, but we're going to be here for now. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like a breakup thing. <laughs> no, no, it, no. I it mean, we're does it not sound like a breakup thing no, but, um, that I understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, valiant effort, but uh, – uh, just cut the wrong side of things, but well done all the same, and we'll be seeing you. I mean, maybe I don't know. Uh, and today's winners, Jake Robert, uh, dummies, another win. <laughs> I saw that's been take, Robert. I saw that's been take. <laughs> um, guys, another win in the column, another finish. Uh, that makes two straight. Am I right? Because you you knocked out Bulbasaur boys, if I'm not mistaken. We did. So that is another. I mean, you guys are just one of the most dominant teams around. Uh, I do agree that it, it was crazy that you were the 11 seed, but that's just how it worked out with the records. Um, Not all losses are created equal, Alex. Yeah, when, you, when you play Joe Farrelly in your first ever match. Yeah. That's right. true. <laughs> Tends to happen. Yeah, unfortunately. 
yeah um uh 26 points that's sweet two points deal in uh still solid in round number one uh just a really good job um I mean, we could get to it to be perfectly honest we don't know who your next opponent is but we know just the I now have the bracket right here, so I can tell you that your opponent will be either mm -hmm. Young Justice gotcha. or Galacti's Nuts. These Nuts! Yes! I hate it. <laughs> well, uh, any preference? I mean, we have Thank an obvious preference. It's it's D's Nuts. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, Who'd for win? the lulls, you know? Yeah. Uh, Dummies and, and D's nuts? Are you kidding me? That goes together. Like, yeah, if only to make whoever is hosting say their team name multiple times and make them suffer. That is what we want. Which of course means y'all want Young Justice to beat us. Which I mean, you of course would like that uh, because of alliances and stuff. But <laughs> no, um, I like we like we'll take on all comers. I mean, for funsies, it would be fun to play Abel and Antonio because. They're just, they're not only are they a great hang, they're also a great team. Yeah. Uh, Do you see, I mean, as we saw in their first round match, yeah, I mean, they, they got a knockout too. Yeah. That's true. So uh, that would not be any, it might be fun, but it'd also be a really hard match because they're also a really good team. Yeah. Um, and I think we showed today that I think we, how formidable we can be. I think the, like, we took Star Trek in round two for a reason. Yeah. Um, and I think, um, we've, I think we've done enough in both here and elsewhere to prove that like, we're always going to be a tough out, um, no matter who we play. And I'm excited. I'm just excited. I just love playing with Robert, uh, in this realm. So I'm excited to get to keep doing that. I was doing the math. And I was like, ugh, why did I miss that stupid Amanda Waller question? We could have went up five and then, you know, ties and stuff. I was playing that far down the line. And then uh, when they were discussing Venom, I was like, oh, my God, they might miss this question. And then we could get the yeah, steal. I was, like, I was doing right all the machinations of it. And fortunately, it played out for us that well. <laughs> fortunately, Jake, we discussed doing quotes in round two. And uh, that definitely probably would have been a mistake. Uh, yes. So, uh, Jake, <laughs> good job on uh, being the level-headed one. Because uh, we ran through the Star Trek questions, fortunately, pretty pretty easily. So, um, yeah, no, I think uh, either of those matchups will be tough, obviously, because they're who they are. But I feel really good about the synergy here. Uh, I love playing with Jake, obviously, as well. And I just think sort of we're on a nice plane of what we know and how we're applying it. And sometimes that's hard. Sometimes you know a lot. But applying it as Ryan sort of intimated in the time frame is hard. But I think we're sort of firing on all cylinders for that. So anybody I think would have a tough out with us too. Uh, we're like a Syracuse number eleven, I think. Way underseated, but you know, advancing in tournaments, that's what we do. My dad went to Georgetown. Don't let him hear you say that. Oh, okay. Well, Georgetown maybe is. Okay, great. That's one cut uh, too deep for me. But okay, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Um, and uh, we'll try and get the Galactic Nuts thing going. I don't know. Um, <laughs> bye. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, good night.